Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial we are going to see, how to create glossy logo reveal animation. You can also use this glossy effects for your introduction title, so now let's see the preview. You can see, here I have already imported the files requires for this project. To perform this tutorial you need. Your logo and slogan. Glass reflection image. Glitter particle. You can download this files from below link in the description. So now let's start creating our logo animation. Create a new composition. Name it as title. Set the time duration to 10 seconds. In this composition we will add our logo and slogan, so first let's add our logo. You can scale your logo if needed. Here I will scale my logo to near about 70%. Now we need to pre-compose our logo. Name it as logo. Let's move all attribute to new composition. Now hide the logo composition layer. Let's add our slogan. Now we need to align the slogan to center. Let's pre-compose our slogan. Name it as slogan. Now we need to position our slogan composition at 5 seconds. Now unhide the logo composition. Now, let's create a new solid layer. Name it as noise. In effects and presets search for fractal noise. Add it to the noise layer. Now change the fractal type to dynamic twist. Change contrast value to 150. Now in transform. Change scale value to 150. Now change complexity value to 18. Now in subsetting. Change subscaling value to 85. Now for evolution. Press Alt and select evolution stopwatch. This will open the expression. Now you can see the preview. Now select the noise layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now for the above layer, change the noise type to inverted. Now select both noise layer. Pre-compose them. Name it as noise. Let's hide the noise composition layer. Now let's start animating our logo and slogan. Select the logo composition. In effects and preset search for CC image wipe. Add it to logo composition. Now go to gradient, change layer to noise. Make sure you are at the start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for completion. Change completion value to 100%. Change border softness to 5%. Now go up 2 seconds. Change the completion value to 0%. Now press U to view created keyframes. Now go at 4 seconds, create a keyframe for completion. Now go at 6 seconds. Change completion value to 100%. Now select slogan composition. Add the CC image wipe transition effect. Now go to gradient, change layer to noise. 
Go at the start of slogan composition. Now create a keyframe for completion. Change completion value to 100%. Change border softness to 5%. Now go at 7 seconds. Change the completion value to 0%. Now go at 8 seconds. Now press U to view created keyframes. Create a keyframe for completion. Now go at end of the timeline. Change completion value to 100%. If you have a lower configuration machine, then for fast preview change view to quarter. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Let's trim the adjustment layer at 4 seconds. Now in effects and presets search for turbulent displace. Add it to the adjustment layer. Come back to the start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for the amount, change amount to zero. Now go at 2 seconds. Change amount to 50. Now go at 4 seconds. Change amount to 0. Press U to view created keyframes. Select all created keyframes. Now change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now place the adjustment layer above the logo composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Place it above slogan composition. Position it at 5 seconds. Now let's create a new null object. Place it below the slogan composition. Now for logo composition, parent it to null object 1. Now select the null object. Press says to bring up the scales. Now create a keyframe for scales. Change scale value to 80%. Now go at end of the timeline. Change scale value to 120%. Now create another null object. Place it below the noise composition. Position it at 5 seconds. Now for slogan composition, parent it to null object 2. Now select the null object 2. Press says to bring up the scales. Now at 5 seconds. Create a keyframe for scales. Change scale value to 80%. Now go at end of the timeline. Change scale value to 120%. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. For the best result, you can adjust the amount of turbulent displace. Now create a new composition. Name it as Reflection. Now let's add the glass reflection image to the timeline. Now in effects and preset search for CC Repertile. Add it to Reflection layer. Now here we need to increase the value for expand left, right, up and down. Let's do it.
Now change tiling to unfold. Now in effects and preset search for offset. Add it to reflection layer. Now let's create a keyframe for shift center. Now change the position of center as shown. Now go to the end of the timeline. Adjust the position of center as shown. Now you can see the preview. You can see the layer edges are not matched. To match them, you need to increase value for expand left. Perfect. Now search for tint. Add it to the reflection layer. Change tint amount to 38%. Now search for curves. Add it to the reflection layer. Adjust the curves as shown. Now search for fast blur. Add it to the reflection layer. Change blurriness to 5%. Now create a new composition. Name it as style. Now add reflection composition to the timeline. Now add title composition to the timeline. Now for reflection composition, change track matte to alpha matte title. Now search for CC blobble eyes. Add it to the reflection composition. Now for blowiness, change blob layer to title. Change softness value to 9. Change cutaway value to 5. Now for light, change the light type to point light. Now change the property to alpha. Now in effects and preset search for curves. Add it to the reflection composition. Now we need to adjust the curves. Adjust the curves as shown. To get the golden effects for the logo, you need to adjust curves for RGB, red, green and blue, as I have shown. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now create a new composition. Name it as final. Now create a new solid. Name it as background. Now search for ramp. Add it to the solid layer. Here you can set any color you want for your background. You can also use your image as background. Change ramp shape to radial ramp. Change scatter value to 500. Now add the style composition to the timeline. Again add the style composition to the timeline. Now add the glitter particle media file to the timeline. Now for below style composition, change track matte to alpha matte glitter particle. Now search for minimax. Add it to the style composition. Now adjust the radius value to near about 28.
Now change channel to color and alpha. Now you can see the particles are visible. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our glossy logo animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.